Hello, wonderful viewers. Welcome back again to Anointed Lady TV, the home of news and politics. We drop news on daily basis and we also react to every video that comes our way. If it is your first time here, you are highly welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by and I hope to see you again. And if you are returning subscribers, I appreciate you all for your massive support. Thank you for always supporting this channel. I say may God richly bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen. I have a video to present to you this very moment. After watching, drop your opinion constructively at the comment section. Like our videos and also share our videos if possible. For me to you for now is bye. My question to you, Honorable Minister, is what is happening in terms of the armed bandits and the activities in the northwest part of that has completely distorted the socioeconomic life of most people and threatened the national security of Nigeria? Does it not qualify for these persons to also be declared as terrorist organization or be proscribed? Because you might say we don't know them by name, but the state governors in this region are engaging these people on a daily basis, granting them amnesty, taking pictures with them. Uh, you see, this, what I'm going to say will not be popular, but it's the truth. When a group is championing a cause for the disintegration of Nigeria, a group like IPOB, IPOB does not even recognize Nigeria as a state, sets up its own army, and says it is a sovereign state. It's different from bandits and criminals. Please, don't compare apples with oranges. But are they not threatening the sovereignty of Nigeria by taking arms against citizens of Nigeria and states? Security challenges is one thing. Challenging the very sovereignty of Nigeria is a completely different thing. Please, let, let, don't let's, uh, you know, uh, 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 work, I mean, don't, don't, don't let us dwell on what I call semantics. Yes, it's not like saying arm robbers. That arm robbers don't they threaten security of lands and property? They do. Well, is that why is, is, is there anywhere in the world that arm robbers have been proscribed? No, no, let's, let's calm down. These are, 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 are you classifying these persons as ordinary arm robbers? Oh, they might be super arm robbers, but what do they do? They take what does not belong to them, they kill people in the process. I'm just using a very big example. Uh, this like, is super, super. Listen, 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 listen no, let, 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 let get my argument clear. IPOP was not proscribed just because of the violence. IPOP was proscribed because I, IPOP, as a group, refuses to recognize the sovereignty of Nigeria as a country. Hmm. Now, now, which, which, which one is the biggest threat, sir? Um, a threat of somebody who challenges the sovereignty of the country or the threat of somebody who carries sophisticated weapons challenging security operatives in a country? How, you see, how, uh, it's very simple. When a person carries, you know, sophisticated weapon, it's just a criminal. And there are ways security forces will deal with him. Like I kept telling you, we've had many, hundreds of terrorists who have been neutralized. But when a group says, we are not Nigerians, we will set up our own government, we will set up our own foreign relations, then that group is threatening the very existence, the sovereignty of the country. And I say, there are two different issues, and please don't confuse them. We have security challenges, but to... Uh, Compare and even IPOB will be very upset that you are comparing them with terrorists and with, with, with the bandits and headsmen. Mm -hmm. let's, let's calm down. How can medical doctors are on strike? Our president are enjoying his fried, fried uh, pepper soup and uh, fried no, no, at London. What we have now is the Federal Republic of Buhari and the APC. And it's supposed not to be so. Initially, when people are taking Gary, they will say it's a poor man food. But now, Gary no be poor man food though. A model of Gary now have skyrocketed to 500. Beans, 800, 900. Insecurity near and there. Even in my streets, they are kidnapping. In Abuja here, they are kidnapping. 
they kidnapped one of my neighbors at the back of my street. But as God might have it, as God might have it, he regained his freedom. And talk about one chance. If you want to enter a vehicle this time around, you have to be very careful. You don't even know who is who, and it's not written on their forehead. People are desperate to make money now due to the hardship. And the government is not helping issue. We, the masses, are not helping ourselves. So we really pray for God's intervention, but we don't know any other thing to do or where to go. You know, uh, what I've seen in a newspaper is bandit terrorizing the nation. Uh, what response to that? Uh, responsible for that uh, uh, terrorist in the country is unemployment. People are suffering day in day out, especially youth. And even those that have retired, they cannot get their benefit. The youth finish schools, no work for them. And there's no work. They will be thinking evil, what to do to survive. And the people in the home of affairs, when the budget is uh, when they bring the budget, they will share it and put it in their pocket. Instead of them to invest it in the country for people to, to enjoy, they will not. Instead, they will either change it to dollar and keep it in their, in their house or keep some to oversee, to go and invest there. And the people in the country cannot, cannot enjoy it. This is what happened in uh, Russia and uh, China in those days where big men, I mean the youth, they gather and start killing uh, big men. And uh, the resultant data is to have what is called a command economy. What do you mean by command economy? Command economy is a situation where government is responsible for the whole people. The house you are, sleep, you, are, you are sleeping, your school fees, your everything responsible for federal government. For that, if they cannot operate a federalism, they should go to command the economy because we have three types of uh, economy in the nation, in the whole world. We have free economy. We have mixed economy, which the one Nigeria is practicing. Then we have command economy. The one Russia and uh, China is operating now is command. If they can go into it, the, the responsibility of uh, all the people in the country should be should be vested in government. That is exactly what is uh, these people are doing before uh, Mama, Mama, uh, Mama Gaddafi and they, they corroborate and kill him, say he's not doing well. Now they are, they are now looking at what is happening in, uh, in uh, this in now, Libya. So government should sit down and think. They should go to the drawing board and think that if the the people with the rich, if the poor are not uh, are, are, if the poor are not settled, the rich who cannot sleep. The government have no regards to anybody. What we have in Nigeria is Federal Republic of Buhari and the APC. And it's supposed not to be so. You have to think of others. That's why you are having all these things. Even if you kill ten, if the whole house of people die, I will not be better than what I am. If the whole Igbos die, all these beggars in the north will not be rich men. This is how a leader is supposed to think. You don't think of us, you don't think of Europe. We are all Nigerians and we are proud of this country. The only thing we have to tell ourselves is the truth. It's just like you, I blame them. When Okowo, Okowo was the, the president of Nigerian students, they removed the colonel that was a minister. He must go, he must go. Why Buhari is not still killing now is what happened in Togate. The Togate at Lagos is what brought him. Not Otherwise, during that uh, June 12th, he would have flushed out. He have known that he's not because you're a president, you don't to do whatever you like to do. You have to look at God, you have to look at the people. 
if you see the killing of government now, they rather arrest you. But if it's before you just go, the Nam the kind would have dead. You would have been a dead person. Ibu would have been a dead person. How can a government go to somebody without such warrant and break somebody, even if that person committed murder? Even if you want to overthrow the government. There has clarity, impunity, nothing will happen to me. I'm the president. I what we are suffering. If you have somebody is telling you because of uh, Niger Delta, because of South East, he's lying. We have no, as far as I'm concerned, we have no government. How can medical doctors on strike? Our president are enjoying his fried, uh, fried uh, pepper soup and uh, fried you know, at London. The country, the situation of the country is very, very bad. For me, huh, Buhari has not done anything. He has not helped us. In fact, I used to call him my daddy. But to call him my daddy now is a shame. Because what I expected of him, I have not seen it. Yes, during his time, there was war against indiscipline. People went back to the farm, to farm. There was law, children, the bad ones, you can track them anytime and then everything was going on fine when he was a military president. But now that he is a civilian president, it's not fair. What he's doing to us, everybody backed him, showed, believed in him because of all that he did. Talk about PTF, look at what he did, he performed wonders. In fact, but now what we are seeing is no longer the Buhari. I always ask, is it him that is ruling or is another person? Because what we are seeing now is not Buhari. So people on their own created security for themselves. So they went to the police headquarters there in, a, in my branch there. They paid money. So police in the evening, police will come over there, do their show as usual. Before 7 o'clock or some minutes after 7, they will leave. Then the local vigilantes that we are paying, we now take in charge. And each street in my place have their own barricade. Yeah. We are paying them because we cannot depend on government any longer. So that is, that is just it. And the kidnapping rate is, is high in every day by day. It's, it has become as if it's a form of business. Killing everywhere, no security. Kidnapping everywhere and he is there, he doesn't care. It's not fair. I've not seen this in good, good luck, Jonathan. Anywhere you see bomb blast, you see good luck there. Anywhere you see killing, you see good luck there. He must touch that state. For those people to know that, yes, he feel the pain, but you cannot, no, even, even in, in, in his casino, the kidnapping everywhere, and there was nothing like where he visited that place. Why? Why? Are we not Nigerians? You said the giant of Africa. We are suffering, we are dying. Our, our parents cannot go to the farm. If you go, you'll be kidnapped, you'll be killed by his men. Why? 